Summit Gear has been designing packs here in Katoomba, the heart of the Blue Mountains, since 1981. And we've noticed that there's a gap in the market um, in the ultralight space for the Australian market. And, um, and Whipper is there. We're launching Whipper as a brand to, to go after that market and offer the Australian market a broader range of performance purpose-built packs. So the four areas that we're focused on with the initial range of packs that we're launching is hike, climb, alpine and canyon. The goal for these packs is really, it's all about performance. The way you get performance out of the pack is to make sure that it's ultralight, as light as possible, but yet it still carries a load really well. And it has only the features required for the purpose that that pack's designed for, and, and really has nothing else that's gonna add extra complexity and weight. Our design process is, it, it starts with, with a clear requirement of what this pack is designed to do. And then we, we really focus in on what's gonna make, make that important. And what we'll then do is go and seek out um, information from our, our own staff and from experts in their field. And really it's about taking away, sort of really focusing in on the, the features that are essential for the activity that it's designed for and stripping away everything else that's totally unnecessary. For me, simplicity is a key part of the design of a Whipper pack. CAD has made it possible for us to change the whole way we go about designing packs. It's much easier to make sure that every seam lines up, that every, every mark is in the right spot. The benefit of that is that we have a much more repeatable process and that every pack comes out with the highest quality and each seam and each, each, each part of the pack lines up perfectly. The tagline of Whipper is lighter, stronger, better. And it's kind of become a mantra for, what, for any pack that sits under that brand. It has to be lighter, it has to be stronger, and it has to be better. So uh, we have people that are out there doing their epics, they're doing pack rafting, they're wanting an ultralight pack, that, but it actually can carry about 90 to 100 litres of, of capacity. Um, so I guess we start with the design that we've had, but to get that extra capacity, we either have to gonna go, I think we're gonna have to go taller and wider, but I don't wanna go deeper. Yeah. Because that's gonna to put too much load on people's backs. 100%. I think if we go wider, we're gonna to have to build, redesign the hip belt. The hip belt, the current hip belt won't yep. sort of be able to handle that sort of kilo, that kind of weight. And because we make it wider, it's just not gonna work. And we need to make sure we've got the load lifters and stuff that then transfer the weight onto the harness. Exactly. I think if we do that, we're going to have a really nice pack. Yeah, that will actually be able to carry a heavy load, not just So all these packs like currently it. weigh about three kilos. I think we should try and aim for something around 1.3 kilos. Yeah, okay. Rob. <laughs> uh, that is, that's massive. That's crazy. It's a behemoth. That's ugly. Yeah, it does. <laughs> But like the 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 premise works. The like, Look at the size of that pocket. Right, well, we. I reckon that's we, like twenty five liters just there. I know. I, know. <laughs> I was just following orders. <laughs> Did I? I probably told you to do that, didn't I? <laughs> so what's its way? Okay. That's one, pretty good. One point seven five kilos. One point seven three. And we haven't even tried to make it light yet. Like that's made out of cheap nylon. Well, that's an improvement already. Ugly pack, good weight. Ugly, ugly. We're gonna need a hip belt pocket on this thing. And I'm not sure how it's gonna work with these stabilizers that anchor to the pack. Nah. Nah. No. Maybe we just can't fit a hip belt pocket to this pack. 